Okay. Um. Yeah, you know. I don't think I'm going to put this one in. Let's take that out. We need a new spot. We'll just call it, like, exits or something. Because I think it will actually be a little easier later on if it's not its own tile type. So, hopefully this... Hopefully I don't regret going this route. Alright, exit. Um, we need new variables for that. <clears throat> Let's just say... What do we want to do? You know what? Planning ahead, even if I'm not going to design this thing to have... Um, to, to branch off and go into a whole bunch of different levels to... You know, I, I'm going to probably make it linear. One level t level one takes you to level two, level two takes you to level three. Probably not going to do the whole branching off thing where, you know, from level one you can jump to three different levels, and each of those you could jump to two different levels, you know, where you've got to hunt for keys or who knows what you have to do. Um, but I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to put forth the extra effort afterwards to do that. So instead of just saying, you know, something like exit A and exit B, I'm going to say exits, and then out of our available exits, I want to say, like, EX, I don't say exit A, whatever, I'm not going to be typing this a lot, exit A, I'll put 10, exit B is 10. And the reason that I want to do this this way, um, see if you guys can follow me on this, we can always run a check at any time and see, has your guy run into one of these exits? Don't think of it any different than the ghosts in Pac-Man. The ghosts in Pac-Man, you looped through the four ghosts. Here, you're looping through ten exits, or how, well, however many exits you have. You might only have one or two, whatever. You see if you have collided with the exit, the same way the ghosts collided with Pac-Man. And what we could do here is say, um, exit map. And this could hold the file name, for example, um, map two dash three dot txt whatever and whatever variable you have stored in here for the file name when they reach this exit you load this map makes sense right so you could have different tunnel ways different doorways whatever that when they step on those bang it loads a new map and the new map has its own spawn point so your guy looks like he's standing at the the other side of a doorway or something or you know you put gra an artwork of a door but now you look like you're inside of a castle so um, you know your sprite sheet could be huge uh, I mean in the one I have here there's just some outdoor scenes you could have decorations of castles and you could have a doorway on it and that could take you to a new level where you have a whole separate set of sprite stuff that's on the side that you know your sprite sheet could be huge you could look like you're inside of a castle or you could have you know where it looks like you're running through a forest. You could have anything. Your sprite sheet here, if you took enough time, you could have 10,000 tiles if you want. You make it look as intricate or as simple as you as you want. So, um, stuff to think about. But this is the way I'm going to set this up. So, we need to take this code and put it into exit. I'm just going to jump back here to enemies because it's actually very similar to how we've done enemy code here because with the enemies it was something that uh, increased so instead of enemies we'll say exits equals exits plus one these here will say exits on the inside and it's exit A and exit B exit A and exit B we don't need these and you know what else we're gonna do before we uh, close it we're just gonna hard code in something for now you know, I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure you would have no problem coming up with code that would, um, you know, change that something for your editor, where you could type in a file name when you place your exit. You know, it's it's not too complicated. So I'll say map two. Um, I should probably say, you gotta put the extension map two. So no matter what we do, every time we place an exit, it's going to take you to map two. Um, and we have to draw. So we've got to add this to our draw tile. We have, I'm just going to copy the enemies part because again it's very similar. Say exits. Exit 
exit A and exit B. Our color should be something different. I'm going to say uh, yellow. Why not? Um, circle. Everything looks fine. You know what we're going to do, though, is I'm going to make the circles... No, I'll leave them. All right. Everything's fine. I'm not going to get fancy with the editor here. Load the map. I just want to see if this works first before we figure it out. Saving. Let's say that if you get to the end here, that's an exit. Looks good. We have to add this to our save. That would be this. Again, we're copying our exit or our enemy section. Exits, exits, exit A and exit B. Okay. We're doing the same thing we did before. We're loading the old map the old way. Um, jumping to the end here. You know, let's put the exits over here. And I'm going to put a couple just to show that we can, in fact, place more than one. Now we save the map the new way. And now we take this section here put it into load and we gotta keep everything in the right order so we have to make sure we do this after that we do the uh, enemies input and now we can oops, load the new map the new way and we do see it at the end now we could always do something like uh, put the spawn points in on the mini map which you know, I wasn't going to, but we're probably going to want to be able to see an overview of where the enemies are. It makes sense, right? It's the whole reason that we have the minimap, is to kind of step back and see everything from a distance. I hate that I'm spending so much time on the editor here, but really, to be fair, this editor does require a lot more work than the Pac-Man editor. Uh, let's see. I, I was thinking, when I was at work yesterday, I was trying to figure out what I want to do after this platform game is done. Um, obviously it's going to take a little while because we haven't even gotten into the game itself yet. But um, I thought I could, the next thing could maybe be an RTS game or, you know, a Street Fighter style game. I don't know. It could be anything. There's a lot of different types of games. But really, between these two, between Pac-Man and this platformer, you pretty much should be able to come up with you know, um, you know, a Street Fighter game or something if you wanted to. I mean, I can't really see what new things I could add that the principles that you haven't already gotten from these two games, or that by the end of this one that you won't have gotten by these two games. So I thought I might want to take it to the next step and do something a little better. Um, the only problem is it's a little bit more work, and the reason I was making these videos in the first place was to help a friend of mine, rather than me sit down with him and teach him stuff if I recorded videos, I could record them at my own time and he can watch them at his own time so it's convenient it of course it's good because it's by being uh, displayed everybody can benefit from these things hopefully well um, if I think that there are more people who are actually going to go through these tutorials it would be worth it for me to record the you know some of the more advanced stuff too um, what I'm thinking with advanced stuff is uh, online games do you want to be able to make a multiplayer Oh, let's just say Pac-Man or something, or a multiplayer RTS, or a multiplayer fighting game or something. If I can get... I'm just going to throw out a number. If I can get ten people to post comments that say, you know, they have followed the tutorials or something, and that they are actually intending to follow the new tutorials if I make new ones for multiplayer, then I'll do a tutorial on making some multiplayer stuff. And that way you guys can learn not only to have made games but how to make the games multiplayer so if you're interested in that uh, you know post some stuff and I would suggest grab some friends that you think would be interested in these tutorials have them watch them and post stuff too because the more people I have that are interested in the videos the more encouraging it is to actually do cooler stuff um, I'm beeping again so let me save the video